How y'all doing this afternoon? It's that time of year again. We're going to do a taco soup. Me and you, I changed up just a little bit. Try to make it a little bit better. Always good. But let me show y'all what we're going to do. I got my Dutch oven here. Yeah, we all can see it now. Got it heating up on the stove. Got the Dutch oven with a little bit of oil on the bottom of it. I got three pounds ground meat. 80-20 I'm going to use. We'll put that in there and bust it up. This little mix and chop. Appreciate it again. I believe it's YouTube uh, channel Preacher's Wife. Thank you so much for sending me this thing. This is great. I uh, think she got this off of Pampered Chefs. Anyway, we're going to bust this up here. This grind meat, and we're just going to brown it off. Y'all know who that goes. Y'all see how I got the ground meat browned down? We're about to pour it out of here and put it in a strainer. We're going to come through here with some vegetation. But that's what you want to do. You want to brown this off. Get the ground meat out of there. Put a little bit of oil in here. Olive oil, whatever you got on hand. Turn the heat back up. Medium high. Let me get some vegetables. I got two whole diced onions. Two whole onions. Just use sweet onions. Those are good this time of year. Two jalapeno peppers. I remove the seeds, most of the seeds at least. Alright, so let all that, I'm gonna turn this on down to about medium low. Let that simmer down here for a few minutes. Once it's been here, simmering a minute or two, we'll go ahead and mix it around. I said turn it down to medium low heat. What we're gonna do is just get those onions nice and translucent, maybe caramelize them just a little bit. Now what we're gonna do and we'll add, see how these are gotten translucent here. Can y'all see that surface level? I'll you know? add the beef back in. Make sure it's strained very well though. Because you want to get all that fat out of it. You don't want to have to scoop it off later. So that's why I, this time I'm using 80-20. Last time I used that 75-15. It just there's a lot of scooping of the fats and stuff like that. And I didn't like to do all that. Let me mix this around a second. Alright, y'all. Now we're gonna hit it with a seasoning. Y'all write these down if you need to. I got one tablespoon of regular chili powder. I got one teaspoon of Tango Verde, Tango Joe's, uh, really, uh, it's a green chili powder, spicy stuff, good stuff. I've got one teaspoon Chipotle chili powder, one teaspoon cumin, one packet of Hidden Valley Ranch Ranch dressing mix. I'm telling you, it's good in this stuff. I've got one packet of taco seasoning, McCormick Original. Last but not least, I've got one teaspoon of Keith Baytag's uh, hot smoked Paprika or peat montan. Put it all in here. First round of seasons. Get all that good and soft. And this is going to mix in. This is what's going to season the meat and everything else. We want to mix this in real good before we put, add anything else to it. So I'm going to keep mixing this in the meat for about two minutes. It's been about two minutes. I've been starting out around. So I will add my tomato sauce. Well, my crushed tomatoes. Dave Fratelli. Crushed tomatoes, y'all. Good stuff. Real good stuff. Just want to stir that in. Next, I'm going to add a can of light red kidney beans. I've drained all the juice out of this. Now I'm going to add a can of black beans. One of my favorites right here. Good stuff. Then we'll add a can of these pinto beans uh, with onion and seasoned pork. That can't be bad. They come out the can. Hmm. Oh well. I'm going to pass on them kidney beans. They didn't look too good. I don't know why they're sticking in the can like that. Uh -uh. Don't take no chance to ruin this whole pot of soup. They said they expired in August. But, you know, canned goods are supposed to be good 
for a while. So let's go ahead and add some, um, what I got over here, some corn. She has the corn with red and green bell peppers. We'll add that. I'm getting almost full to the brim here. That's all right. Stuff can cook now. Right now I got a can of uh, a Rotel. Just bring the recipe Rotel. Pour the juice out as well. Also got a can of sliced black olives, but I'm gonna put those in there until a little later. I don't want those to cook too, too, too much. What we're gonna do is put this on low heat. Let it sit here and simmer for about an hour or so. I'll come and stir it every once in a while. And we'll see where we're at from there. See how, how if we need to add any juice or not. What I'm gonna do this is a little beef concentrate cube. Uh, I'm gonna add this. And I'm gonna put a little bit of water in here just to make sure it don't burn. That's about a cup or so of water, something like that. So I stir it in. I'll give it a little bit to cook from on the bottom and everything. So we've been cooking here for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna add just a touch more water. It was about four ounces. Stir that in. And I've got my oven set at 325, y'all. I'm going to put the lid on this Dutch oven. Like I said, I'm going to do this a little different than I normally do. And we're going to put this in the oven and let this sucker go for about two hours. See what happens. All right, John. I've had the soup in the, in the oven. there on about, about 325 to 350 for about two hours. Let's check and see how she looks. Ooh, man. Look at that. That's a beautiful taco soup right there, y'all. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Look at all that beef just cooked down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. That's perfect right there. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to add in black olives. Oh, I'm not going to add in black olives because I actually threw them away. Daggum it. I opened the can. I threw it away with all the trash. So anyway, we'll let this simmer here for about 30 more minutes while we make the cornbread. But y'all just finished up a nice pan of cornbread here. We'll set that to the side. And I think this soup's about ready to serve. Take a look at it. I'm sure it's it's piping hot now because I had it over that heat vent for the oven. Look at it. Oh yes, sir. That is beautiful, y'all. Go ahead and get my soup ladle over here. And we'll just kind of look at that gorgeousness. Ah. Uh, Oh yeah. So serve some up here in this bowl right here. Look at that, y'all. It's beautiful. Beautiful looking soup. Now top it with some cheese here. Get some. A little bit of sharp cheddar or whatever you want. I like the case of Blanco on mom. It's just gonna be for the wife. So she has a little bit of sharp cheddar right there on top. Maybe a couple little jalapenos, fresh jalapeno slices. That'll be real fine. And sit this on the bowl just for a second, y'all. Long enough to melt that cheese. Now it's fine right there. Wonderful bowl of taco soup. All right, y'all. Now I get to try some of this deliciousness on camera for myself. And it, oh man, it looks fantastic. It smells great too. Go ahead and give this a try, y'all. I made taco soup, like I say, every year, but I changed that just a little bit. Mmm. I tell you what. I don't want to tell you. This is the best taco soup I've ever made. The meat is so tender. It's like a really, almost like, you know, the meat is like a comp competition grade chili. I think that slow cook it in the oven really helped, John. The flavors are just popping. Awesome little dish. Now y'all give it a try. It's not hard to do, especially in these cold winter months. Thank y'all and please sub my channel and like the videos.